Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University, a one stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time we are talking about uh, administrating, administrating a Hadoop cluster using the Cloudera distribution of Hadoop. As part of it we are trying to set up a 4 node uh, cluster using VMs on Mac or uh, PC. And uh, so far we have uh, installed Cloudera manager after uh, creating 4 VMs and then we also added hosts to the cluster. And as part of this video. I will be covering um, adding cloud, Cloudera management service using uh, Cloudera manager. Uh, so we will directly get into hands on stuff here. Once you, uh, once you have uh, Cloudera manager up and running and once the hosts are added, you can confirm whether the ho hosts are added or not by clicking on hosts and then all hosts. You can see that there are four hosts here and uh, once the hosts are added, you can click on add Cloudera management service okay and there are several services one is service monitor activity monitor host monitor reports manager event server alert publisher navigator audit server and navigator metadata server i am not sure about navigators but uh, rest of the stuff service monitor is the component which will be monitoring the services on the cluster so once we start adding Hadoop ecosystem tools such as HDFS, Yarn, Hive, etc., each of those services have to be monitored, and the the, the process which will be monitoring at the cluster level or across multiple clusters is the service monitor, which will monitor the services, and then host monitor will actually monitor the hosts themselves. So how much CPU is being used, how much memory is being used. How much storage on each of the host is being used will be uh, done by host monitor and when these things are up and running there will be several events that will be happening okay and uh, the event server will be taking care of monitoring those event events and certain events uh, has to be triggered uh, so that we can actually take action on those events so the event can be an uh, exception or an error and we have to take the action immediately and to take the action immediately we should be able to get the alerts and alert publisher is the service which will take care of uh, uh, alerts in case of uh, uh, those uh, important events and then finally the reports mo activity monitor i am not sure about activity monitor we we will uh, uh, look into it so you can go to uh, the Cloudera uh, documentation and see what is activity monitoring. So activity monitoring capability monitors pig, high, woozy, map reduce and streaming jobs that are running on your cluster. So it, it will actually monitor the jobs themselves. And then reports manager is the one which will actually provide the dashboards about uh, the information that are collected using all these monitors. So all, all these monitors will actually get the metrics from the agents and they consolidate um, uh, into uh, individual categories and then reports manager will be uh, the visualization layer to visualize the reports uh, that are generated on top of those aggregated metrics. So once we actually set up you will understand the significance of the reports manager. I am not sure about navigator audit server and navigator metadata server. You can actually go through the documentation to understand uh, it. So in this case, I don't want to set up activity monitor. I want to set up only service monitor, host monitor, reports mo uh, manager, event server, uh, alert pub publisher, etc. Uh, if you want to set up activity monitor, we have to set up a database as well. Uh, f but for the rest of the tools, we just need one database. Okay. And uh, if you want to set up, you can actually select the host on which you want to set up the activity monitor, which I am not doing here. And then click on continue if you choose activity monitor you will see two things one is for reports manager the other one is for the activity monitor and uh, in this case i will be we we did not select activity monitor that's why we are seeing only the reports manager and then you can you either use custom database or embedded database so embedded database will be the postgres database which will be installed at the time of setting up the cloud era manager and uh, here you don't need to modify anything it will pick up the server on which the postgres server is uh, database is there and the database name will be rman username will be rman and the password also will be system generated by the 
Cloudera Manager itself. You just have to click on test connection and you can start using this emulate database. It will set up this new database and it will uh, use it uh, for the reports manager. If you want to use a custom database such as MySQL or Oracle, you can choose custom database here. Uh, give the IP address of the data, uh, database and the port number. If it is MySQL, it should be 3306. If it is uh, Oracle, it should match. Uh, it should be uh, the IP address of the Oracle service, uh, uh, listener service. And then you can give whatever database you have created, pre-created, uh, the username uh, uh, which have access to the database. If it is MySQL or, or Postgres, and the password. So you have to give the uh, actual password which you have used while creating this user. So that is if you want to use the custom database. In this case, I am directly using the Emulate database. Click on test connection. It will actually create, uh, already Postgres is installed. So this step will actually create a database called Rman. In that Postgres database, a user called Rman and the password with this password. And then it will actually uh, validate the connection. Uh, connection is successful so the database is created user is created with this password and also grants will be there or permissions will be there for this user to this database uh, to create tables and all those things for the reports manager and then click on continue so when it comes to um, alerts we, we are configuring the alert publisher also so if you have uh, SMTP mail server, you can give the uh, ma mail server IP address, username, password here. Um, but in this case, we have not configured the mail server. So I am not actually uh, uh, customizing these details at this time. I am leaving all the defaults and then clicking continue. And then it will actually start the cloud, cloud error management service uh, by starting all these uh, uh, um, all these uh, servers that are associated with that service so that our, uh, our our clusters Hadoop clusters of our organization can be monitored effectively using a web based uh, tool called Cloudera Manager and it will take a while to start all these services so now all the services are started click on finish And uh, now these errors will go away slowly. Okay, request to the service monitor failed. This may cause slow page responses. So there is, uh, it is reporting certain issues with respect to service monitor and host monitor. You can actually click on this one and see if all the services are up and running or not. Sometimes these uh, errors could be old errors which can uh, uh, stay for some time, but eventually those errors will go away. So it, it, it will be better to wait for a couple of minutes to uh, when you actually set up Cloudera Manager uh, management service for the first time to actually see if there is issue or not as part of our setup. Now you can see that we are getting actual information from the servers. Okay, so you can go to Cloudera Manager also. And uh, now it is green, but still data is not coming to see the reports. So all these reports uh, which under charts are actually supported with the, uh, by the reports manager. So uh, the agents which are running on all the nodes in the cluster will send the information um, uh, to, to the centralized uh, server, uh, which is Cloudera manager. And then the reports manager uh, that is part of the Cloudera management service will actually facilitate the visualization based upon different windows. Uh, the, de uh, the default is 30 minutes and then it, it can sp spawn up to 30 days. Okay, so that is the relevance of the uh, reports manager. Now it seems things are good except that there are sudden swap memory usage uh, these errors will go away 
but on VMs, uh, you can ignore this kind of errors uh, for now. Unless if something is failing, you, you don't need to worry about most of these errors. Okay, so uh, we, we have successfully set up the Cloudera management service. As part of the subsequent videos, we will start setting up uh, actual Hadoop ecosystem tools such as Zookeeper, HDFS, Yarn, etc. Uh, one component at a time. That being said, uh, if you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to provide the feedback, please use the comment section of the video. If you want to discuss further about uh, uh, I, uh, Hadoop or Big Data, please join my LinkedIn group called ITVersity-Big Data. And finally, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will get to see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.